So that a couple of my friends, they died at the Blue Hole. Um, the, the, the one of them, the one he take me diving the first time. And uh, that was in 1997, when the, November 1997, when they went down to do Dajis and his uh, body. Two good friends of mine uh, died in the Blue Hole. So, like all stories, I suppose people dying, it's pretty sad. One of the guys was working here and was always against deep diving and he had a friend turn up who started to get into diving and working and started egging him on and they started doing a bit deeper dives, deep dives. And a few of the same guys, you know, you should just be a bit careful with this, you're sort of rushing into this all of a sudden and anyway one morning a taxi driver came back and said, you know, I took the guys early in the morning and uh, they still, they haven't come up. Open to me. Who art thou? Whither goest thou? What is thy name? I am one of you. Martin and Connor, they were inseparable and together they perished. They dove together and the abyss accepted them together. Just a short while before their last dive, one of them received a warning of the impending disaster. There's three of us working together in, in, in Club Red. An Italian guy called Sergio, uh, myself, and uh, Martin, and we were the dive masters. Sergio, he, he had an interest in the cards as well. He used to read them professionally in, in New York, and we got hold of some cards. Martin, Rolf and I were sitting um, in our camp after, after uh, work in Dahab, and we decided to do a, a collective reading um, of the tarot cards. I did a five card spread, and the first one that came out was the hangman. But then there was the tenth of sword. Sergio, the first thing he saw was betrayal. He said that between the three of us, there's going to be betrayal. Also, a death card came up, and Sergio says, it's, it's an imminent death. There's something going to happen. To, to any of the three of us. Sergio obviously thought that since I was going to be in the arts the next day, um, I was the most likely candidate for an accident. Uh, the swords also for me meant sacrifice. I had to sacrifice something. And uh, I had a feeling I had to stop Rolf from, uh, from diving the blue hole with an experienced uh, paying client. Uh, I was very angry at Sergio for a long time after that because it, it was like the card said, we'd been betrayed, I'd been bet betrayed. and. Um, then, um, Martin died, literally two months later, as the cards had predicted. At the time we read the card, we never thought Martin would be the person, uh, the person con concerned by a, by a diving accident, because he was a, a, straight, a straight person. He was not doing uh, deeper dives than the allowed 40 meter steps at the time. He was very concerned with, uh, with safety. When, when they found him, they picked him up from about 105 or 108 meters on the bottom of the blue hole and one was holding onto the other. They're wrapped around each other when they were found. Um, and so obviously one was trying to rescue the other, lost consciousness themselves and then they ended up sitting on the bottom of the blue hole. It's pretty sad, they both still clutched together. Um, in fact, one of them still had quite a lot of air in his tank but the other one didn't. So it looked like there'd been a pretty major problem. and. As you do as your buddy, you're trying to help your buddy out, but um, the guy that was in the most trouble was quite a big guy, a heavy guy, and it looks like he just at that depth, you become very negatively buoyant and was just too much weight for my other friend to actually lift, and it looks like they just uh, just kept going down and down and down. Um, obviously at that depth, your judgment gets affected. Um, weight belts were still on, they didn't even get it together to do an emergency. Uh, uncontrolled ascent and yeah it looks like they pretty much just passed out together and like I said unfortunately they were still clutching each other when they were when they were brought up. Um, it was very nasty, they were good friends, um, we all worked together in the dive industry here and parents came out to actually see why these young kids or where these young kids had uh, met their end and all around it was a pretty pretty nasty time for everyone here. It, it was the benchmark accident it showed us that, you know, hey guys, you know, well, you know, let, let's stop playing the game. You know, it's, um, it's, uh, it's not so cool anymore at the end of the day. <laughs>